Hey Fragrance family, I'm David, I'm a fragrance bro. Crap. What'd I forget? Crap. Hey y'all, it's Meckers here and I'm in Alabama, a land of sweet tea and moon pies. <laughs> Let's get this started. Hey Fragrance family, I'm Daver. And I'm Dan. And we're the Fragrance Bros. We are the Fragrance Bros. <laughs> in yeah. Alabama. Come at you this time with a special review. Oh, you forgot to say y'all. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting the biggest kick out of that being down here in the South. <laughs> yes. <laughs> special review with Dan Mish. Yeah. Obviously. And uh, so how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Took a vacation down here to Daver's hometown, Mobile, Alabama, and he was gracious enough to let me stay at his place. So yeah. I can't thank you enough for that, man. He's been taking me around the city, having a blast, fantastic time. The city nestled in the woods. Yeah, the city <laughs> nestled in the woods. I've never seen so many trees that there are in the south. It's like every city lives in a forest. <laughs> it's crazy. And there's all palm trees everywhere. <laughs> We're doing all kinds of crazy stuff, eating grits, <laughs> connect a sausage. I'm just having a great time. You got a special uh, uh, yeah, souvenir? I did get my souvenir, my uh, Moonshine Alabama mug with coin slot on the back. <laughs> $3.99 at, what place did we buy that at? The Peanut Shack. Yeah, the Peanut Shop, yeah. The Peanut Shop, fantastic place. Alabama has been fantastic. Feeding squirrels. One grabbed my finger and held it. That was awesome. That was great. Because we got Ben Lee here. He's sitting on the couch watching us. Yay, Ben! Let's get straight to the review. Uh, Day introduces 2012. It's classified as a woody spicy. Notes are patchouli, pink peppercorn, bergamot, cedar, and tonka bean. Yes. Uh, now, what did you get longevity out of this? Longevity for me, I get eight plus hours. Nice. Fantastic. Yep. Yeah, I would say it's, it's in the average range as, as well, probably about eight hours, maybe a little bit less, but um, I'm fine with that. I yeah. think that's great out of a fragrance. Yeah. Now what about projection? Projection for me, this one sits uh, average. This is not one that goes into beast mode, but this is one of those fragrances that I like to sit that way. Yeah. This is one of those fragrances for me that could be a signature scent, something that's not too boisterous. Uh, it, it, yeah, it just sits perfectly it's definitely not a skin scent. Yeah. At all. I pick up on this on me the entire day. So I can appreciate that for sure. Yeah, I would say uh, projection is average on me, uh, which I actually like with this fragrance. Being a patchouli fragrance, it's a little bit softer yeah. than uh, a lot of the louder patchouli scents, but, but I actually like this uh, for this one. Yeah. Season, I would say this is almost in any season scent. I would say this is great in the fall and winter and probably good for spring nights. Um, I can see that. I can see where you're going with that. But for, for me, like, we're down here in Alabama, so it's hot down here. Yeah. Uh, more heat than I'm used to, let me tell you, up in Wisconsin, because, you know, the, the weather is definitely cooler up there. So for me, this could actually be an all year fragrance, just because it's, it's not heavy, you know? Yeah. 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 Purpose, I would say this is great for formal, um, and I could actually see this for work too, because it's, it's uh, closer to the chest and uh, it's, it's just a real pleasant scent. Yeah, it's but a, I think this is great for formal, formal wear too, because it, sm it smells, smells really classy to me. For sure, yeah, it does. And for, for me, I could actually see this as just a casual scent too, especially for somebody like me, because I absolutely love the scent. It's soft, it's smooth, you know? Kind of like me. Okay, so what does this remind you of? For me, there's a note in here, even though there's no fruits listed, the fruit that's in this reminds me of Royal Oud, like the pink berries that are used in that. And I think it's the patchouli in this scent. I'm not exactly sure where that's coming from, but like for me with the, the fragrance Birdie, the patchouli in that pulls off a moist, fruity feel as well. More like grapes in that one. But there's, I don't know, there's definitely that fruity feel for me in this, along with the earthy, damp moistness of that patchouli but it doesn't go into overdrive on the whole earthy part of it mm -hmm. you know it stays sweet and nice and friendly at least for me it does yeah yeah i would say this is a really this is a real friendly type of patchouli scent 
And that's one thing I like about this is that a lot of patchouli scents are really loud and they can come off being a little, <clears throat> a little crass almost. I know, you know, I really like patchouli and I think this is done really, really well. It's blended really, really well. And it's modern too. It is modern. It doesn't have like a, it doesn't have like a like an old outdated feel like some can some patchouli or scents like can. that hippie smell. Doesn't you know smell, what? yeah, exactly. It doesn't smell yeah. like a hippie, and um, <clears throat> it's very classy. It sits closer to you, so I actually kind of dig that for this reason. Ah, you know what? It's it, it's probably like you know like if it was a hippie child at one time that went to Woodstock, and it grew up to be a businessman like most of them did. And I was got to wear something nice and classy like this. Yeah. But he still likes to keep his, you know, a little part of that past with him. <laughs> I can see that. I can see that. Y you know? Yeah. Yeah. And this is, this is one of those fragrances where I can smell each individual note as well. Yeah. Uh, which, I, you know, I kind of like. It's not that it makes a difference, but it's just nice when you can kind of smell each of those little things. And they, they're, it's blended so well. Yeah, it is. Like, the way the things are put together and... and the tonka bean in this is not like a normal tonka bean feel that you will get Versace Eros lovers. <laughs> <laughs> the, the tonka bean in here is mild and just creates this balsamic, soft smoothness with the cedar and the patchouli and the pepper. Yeah. Oh. It's nice. It's done very, very, extremely well. Really, really nice. Yeah, yeah. I think the the tonka and the pink pepper are really the stars, the the, the supporting cast, uh, supporting the patchouli. Patchouli is real dominant in this, obviously. Yeah. But the pink pepper and the the tonka really make this just really nice. Yeah. Really like it. I it, think I think it's a, a simple fragrance too. Yeah. Um, but I don't see that as a bad thing. I like a lot of, I typically like more complex scents. Right. So I think for this, I think it, it, it lacks kind of a wow factor for me, but um, I like it a lot. So what about compliments? Do you get any compliments from this? Uh, me, actually I haven't, this is one that I've had for quite some time, but it's not one that I've worn to work a lot. I wear this mostly, or I have, in my free time, like my social time. and. My social time really doesn't consist of me going out with a lot of people. I spend a lot of time working at home and you know, with my wife and family. And she really hasn't said too much to me about this scent yet. So this is one that I haven't put through the ladies at work test yet, but I will. And I'll get back to you. That's a promise. <laughs> Alabama, we keep our word. <laughs> <laughs> you can bet your grits on that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get you know I didn't get that many notices with this fragrance from people in general. I didn't get to wear it a whole bunch. Um, my wife didn't really care for it. Um, not really sure. I think I think she doesn't like real pungent scents. And tip, you know, patchouli normally is kind of a more pungent note, so she doesn't she didn't really care for it that way. But um, I do think this is a very pleasant scent in general. So I can see people giving you compliments for it. This to me is a fragrance that is on the safer side of the tracks, I think. And with fragrances like Royal Oud, I've gotten compliments a lot with that one. And if I was gonna put this like in a classification with any scent, for me, the closest thing to it would be something like Royal Oud. Okay. You know, it's, it's, it doesn't smell the same, yeah. you know? And you know, a lot of people- I can see that. When you put a, a, a fragrance or like, Sometimes when, when we put a fragrance in the classification or say that something reminds us that fragrance with another one, sometimes people get too literal and they're like, it doesn't smell like that. Well, not didn't say that. It's like a gentleman. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's like a gentleman's fragrance. Yeah. Ah. So, yeah. Like, I, I see Royal Oud in that way too, where it's a gentleman's fragrance. Um, <clears throat> some people could, could, might see that as mature, but I don't know. There's something about it that is just... And, Certainly. yeah, and the presentation too. You know, if you're looking for a total package and a scent, something that you settle on, you want everything to be great and cool. And the bottle for this to me is classy as well. Yeah. The black yeah. on the clear, you know, looks good sitting on the shelf. Sometimes you'll find something that you totally love and yet the bottle kind of looks tacky. And you know, it's all about the juice, yeah, yeah. But if, if you're a guy and you're, 
You know, and you're hunting ladies, maybe you're a single guy. You and they show up to your crib. You want to have everything looking cool. You want some weird, like what's that new Pharrell Williams scent? Oh, you girl. don't want to have a lady showing up to your house and you got that thing sitting on there. She's going to run for the door. What the hell's wrong with this guy? <laughs> you, got, you got Javanese patchouli sitting there. She's like, this guy's got a class man. <laughs> uh, now bang for buck this is 195 dollars for a 125 mil bottle um i think overall i think that's a a fair price for what you're getting it's real high quality it smells really great and it you know it's really nice i think so too 125 ml 195 bucks excellent you know in the pricey range but you get what you pay for in this case yeah and if we're talking about quality, if we're talking about the star rating, I would give this one five out of five for sure. Final rating, five out of five. Boom, <laughs> done. My final rating, I'm gonna give this a four out of five. I think this is a very good fragrance. Um, it's just not a, a love for me. It kind of lacks a, a wow factor, but at the same time, I think it's um, a wonderful fragrance. Yeah, if, if you go to Fragrance Couture, you like, most of us do and you look at reviews and the the, the love bar there is boom yeah whew, all with, the way with good reason and yeah and usually if you post this as your scent of the day like when i have you'll get people on there commenting about what a fantastic scent this is right ben yes say even ben <laughs> says so that's right <laughs> So that's all we have for Javanese Patchouli. Let us know what you think down in the comments down below. Do you like it, love it, hate it? And what do you think of Dan Mish being here? Woo! Awesome? Yeah, totally stoked. <laughs> I'm the Fragrance Bros couch. With the Fragrance Bros shirt. With the Fragrance bro, bro Knuckles what? shirt. What? 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 <laughs> oh, and it's so funny too. His son is copying my laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Every time that I laugh, like we'll be driving around and I'll be like, <laughs> and then his son in the back, you hear this? <laughs> He's like two. He's two. It's the cutest thing. And if his son grows up to laugh like me, I'm going to love it. I might not like it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all we got. We'll see you next time. We're the Fragrance Bros. Bye. <laughs> <It's> the... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, not putting that in. <laughs> Season, I would say this is almost. Oh, no, no, no. What's that? I was going like this when you were talking. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I said that part. Okay, good. <laughs> I think right. one of us has got a memory. Okay, yes, yeah, right. <laughs> I'm thinking about weird things in my head right now. Hold on a second. Yeah, right. This review is going to be short again. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it's in Alabama anyway. <laughs> Alabama slammer. <laughs> so that's all we have. Um, I'm Dan. I'm Mickers. I'm not Dan. <laughs> okay. Let's move on. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> no. Does that mean something different down here? I have no idea. Alabama slammer. <laughs> <laughs>